That you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Welcome back to my channel. I am Kate Jabri, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys this install. This wig is from Wiggins Hair, which is like one of my most favorite companies. So I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. Of course, all the links on this hair will be listed down below. All the details and everything that you guys probably want to know will be down below. In this video, like I said, I'll just be installing it and styling it for you guys. So I really hope you guys stay along and watch how I got this a product but before we can get into it y'all already know that I need y'all to give me a big old thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next and also subscribe to my channel because my cash web is lit I'm lit and if you subscribe be lit too and that's on what that's on period well, let's just go ahead and hop right into this video this is a wig is hair unit and I am so in love as always this is literally one of my most favorite companies ever I just love the quality of the hair and the quality of the lace It's just 10 out of 10 out of 10 it really makes the install process super duper easy and basically all I have to do now is apply some makeup to the lace and then just glue it down I did pluck it just a tad bit but it does come pre-plucked so that is optional I just wanted to do a little bit extra so I did go in and pluck a little bit but I did not have to bleach the knot and yeah so pretty much all I have to do is glue it down at this point so we're gonna go ahead and do that now but first like I said I have to go ahead and put makeup on the lace so I'm just gonna flip it back and I'm gonna apply some makeup to do that I'm just gonna use a powder foundation that is in my skin tone I got this one from Sephora and I just always like to go in with a um, dense brush and just kind of brush it on the back of the lace And then I'm gonna flip it back and see how it's looking. If I need a little bit more makeup, this is when I will apply powder to the top of the lace, like this. And I just like to kind of tap that in because I don't like the look of the makeup getting on the actual hair, so I just tap it. As you guys can see, it already looks like it's coming out of my scalp because I have went ahead and added that makeup. And then now what I'm gonna do is just to get the hair, the flyaways out of the way and I don't want them to get stuck in the glue. I'm just gonna spray some hairspray. And then I'm gonna clip the hair back. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the wig is sitting exactly where I want it to sit. Make sure that it's sitting right by my ears on both sides. Everything looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip this unit backwards and then we're gonna start to apply the glue. The lace that Wiggins hair has is so freaking thin. I have to be so careful not to tear it, but it's perfect for installs because the thinner the lace, the better. So I'm not mad at it, but you have to be super duper delicate because I have ripped so many of my Wiggins wigs and they're too good. Like I'd be so mad when I rip them, but it's because the lace is just so thin. Today, I'm gonna be using the Wig Dealer Extreme Hold Lace Glue. I actually need to order some more of this because I have been using this little travel size one but I ain't gonna lie, this little thing has lasted me a very long time. Like, I know that it's probably coming up on a year that I've been using this little thing and it's not even done yet. So maybe I should just wait it out, but somebody's telling me, girl, go ahead and buy another one. I'm probably gonna do about two to three layers because I do want this wig to last and I want it to be laid, okay? So I'm gonna do a couple layers. I'm not gonna be stingy with the glue at all. I always like to take the glue on the back of something just to have more control over it and how much I'm using. Now I'm just gonna take a popsicle stick and don't mind, I had to get the colorful ones because I could not find the regular popsicle sticks so I'm using these ones so just don't mind, okay? I'm just gonna start by putting some dots on my forehead. For your first layer of glue, you don't wanna use a lot so just start off with a thin, thin layer because I feel like the first layer of glue is what becomes clumpy. So as long as you get that first layer super smooth, buttery, flat, smooth, with no clumps, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm continuously going over the glue to make sure that it's laying flat and it's not drying in like a clump. 
So I feel like as long as you get that first layer right, the rest is gonna follow. But if you just pile up that first layer of glue, you in for a mess, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go in with my second layer. And I did forget to clean my skin with alcohol before, but I did wash my face before I started this process. So hopefully there is no makeup or not too much makeup around my forehead. I know it is probably just a little bit from um, applying the powder foundation to the lace, but hopefully it's not enough to make the glue have a reaction because I was definitely supposed to clean my skin and I forgot, but it's okay. So as you guys can see, I have these little white spots right here and here where it's kind of having a reaction with the weight cap. I don't know why, but honestly, I am more of a fan of like the generic wig caps instead of the HD ones because I find that I have this problem a lot with the HD ones and I don't really have that problem with the other ones. But nevertheless, I can still work around it. I just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry clear. But I am not a super duper fan of the new HD um, wig caps and that's majority what the wig company sent in the package. So I end up using them anyway just to save a trip to the hair store but honestly i don't really care for them like they're thin yeah but i know how to make the other ones thin you know so it's all preference but i just find that they always have a reaction with the glue for some reason and it always like leaves this white tint and then i have to just wait extra long for it to be clear or sometimes it does never it never turns clear and i just have to deal with the fact that it looks white which I know how to fix that too, but it's just annoying, you know? So you can still kind of see the white and it's just right where the wig cap is. I'm gonna take my blow dryer on cool and just go ahead and make sure that everything is completely dry. All right, so now let's go ahead and flip the wig down. I hate that. Ah, I don't like that, but it's, the hair is gonna cover it, so it's okay. I'm just gonna go from side to side, gluing this down so that I don't experience any ripple. So I'm just gonna pull on this side, take my comb and push the hairline into the glue. And then I'm gonna do the same to this side. So now that I have the wig on, I'm gonna tie it down for just a couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna give it some time to sit up underneath this wig band but i'm gonna fold it in half this is also something that they sent me in my package which is super clutch so i'm gonna go ahead and tie this around and then i'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes all right so now that i have this sitting i'm gonna go ahead and cut off this extra lace just so i can see because it's like a visor over my eyes so i'm just gonna cut this off not all of it just the part that was hanging over my eyes and then now I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a side part or a middle part. I don't know. I'm about to look at some inspo and then I'll get back to y'all because I feel like I always do the middle part. We'll see. Okay, so you guys, I decided on a side part, but I don't know where I want the side part to sit. Like, like that's the hardest part for me. Like trying to figure out where to put the part because my head is like an egg. So I don't like it to be too deep. I don't know y'all. But we're gonna do a side part because I went on Eric Gittay's page and he had this really, he did this really cute style on Dream Doll and I'm like, okay. I always do middle parts, so let's do side. And I'm gonna try to like recreate the look, but I'm already knowing to get this to my liking, I'm about to have to go through each section and flatten out this top part of my head because I feel like if this is not flat, then it's not gonna give what I want it to give. So I'm just about to go through and do that right now. I probably won't hold y'all while I do that. I'm just going section by section with a hot comb and some hairspray and literally doing like this spraying it hot combing it down but i'm not gonna hold y'all and make y'all watch me do that so i'm just gonna do that and then i'll be right back all right you guys i have flattened out my hair as you can see it is super flat super slick i don't know if y'all can tell but 
I did my one. So now it's time to take off this band and we're gonna cut this lace off. No! Woo! So y'all saw <clears throat> we just had a little hiccup and that just irritated the hell out of me. But we're about to still cut this lace off and then I'm just gonna fix it after the fact because I can't do this. So I'm just gonna cut it in three pieces and I'm gonna take a razor and I'm just gonna cut. Now I'm just about to go back through and put some makeup on the lace just to help with this white cast. Now what I'm gonna do is take some even wonder lace and I'm gonna go around the hairline of this wig and just spray a little bit on my finger and kind of press it in. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna be drying it with the blow dryer as well. So I hope that makes sense, but that is like my method of like melting it. And then I'm gonna retie it back down and we're gonna style. So I hope y'all are following. <laughs> I'm just gonna feel, see if anything is still sticky because if it's sticky, you can't tie it down yet. So this side is pretty good, but this side is still a little bit wet. So I'm gonna go back in. So everything seems to be dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair out of the way and go ahead and tie the band back on. I'm gonna do curls, but I am gonna layer the front of the wig just to make sure that I can have a cute bang moment i want my bang to be super cute so i'm gonna do some layers and so how i like to do it is just part all the hair that's in front of my ear and then i'm gonna start right below my chin and then that's where i'm gonna start to put the layers i'm gonna use a razor comb and i'm just gonna kind of glide that down now i'm gonna go in with my scissors and Kind of just go in and make sure to perfect it. Just make sure whenever you're doing layers, you're pointing your scissors down and not like this. Cause you're gonna make a huge chop and you're not gonna be able to fix it. So make sure that your scissors are pointing down. Okay, so now that I have my layers, we can go ahead and start to curl. And basically I'm just gonna go through with my barrel baby list and I'm just gonna put the curls going away from my face. And then hopefully in the end, they look cute, but I'm gonna pin them up just to try to ensure that they at least stay until the end.
right, I'm hot, so I need to take this band off to make sure I'm not sweating. It got stuck again because I was sweating. So I remember communicating that, and I remember like it not coming through. So now I got to go extra hard in the lane that I'm just like, right? Yeah. At that point in time. All right, y'all, I'm about to change this because I'm sweating and it's messing with my lace. So I'm about to change my top and I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys, I have all of the curls pinned up. As you can see, the ones on the bottom is just a little bit heavier because I ran out of clips. So I had to combine them. But this is what we're looking like. So I'm about to hurry up and do some makeup right quick because I am going to go take pictures. So I need to be like in full glam when I take my hair down. So I'll be right back so that you guys can see the finish and final result. We're going to take these down together. All right, so you guys, I have my makeup done. So let's go ahead and take out these clips. I'm so excited. Okay, so you guys, they're all out. I'm about to just spray my hair with some hairspray one more time. And then I'm gonna take a like, this is not a wide tooth, but it's also not a small tooth. And I'm just about to go through and comb out these curls. Girl, ah! Oh my gosh, you guys! Ah! It's so cute! Yeah, this is bomb. This right here? Yeah, no baby hairs, yeah. Yeah, this is too cute. Okay, so you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. I really enjoyed filming this video and I'm just so in love. I don't know what else to say. Of course, all the links on this wig will be listed down below as well as a coupon code, so do not forget to go down there. But that is pretty much it, you guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.